Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Janelle. And if you are not new here, hi, my name is still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today I am going to be doing my first ever book haul of 2021 and I'm really excited about it. This is a smaller <laughs> book haul. Um, I think I have maybe like 12 or 13 books on here I think. So it is a smaller book haul but I wanted to go ahead and talk about them because after I get married I don't know if I'll even be able to do book hauls again because I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend a bunch of money on books because bills are real. Also, before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Also, click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you like book hauls or if you like books or honestly, if you just like me. Give it a thumbs up. It'll make you feel good. It'll make me feel good. And then we can just be one big happy family. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into all the books that I have recently purchased. So one of the books that I've recently purchased is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. And I am super, super excited about this book. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. Um, I've also heard that it is heavy and it definitely can be hard to read um, just because of the content, but I think it's gonna be really good. And I also just wanna talk about this cover. Like, this is stunning. First of all, she's beautiful. Like, I wish I could rock that hair because it looks low maintenance and it looks so good on her. But she looks beautiful and her name is Enchanted. Like, what? Like, I want my name to be Enchanted. A character named Corey Fields um, is dead and Enchanted actually wakes up with blood on her hands and has no memory of the night before um and so basically she's trying to figure out what the heck happened um so yeah i think it's going to be really really interesting and i'm really really excited to read this this year this is actually on my top 21 books to read in 2021 so this will definitely be read like i'm so excited about it and i do want to talk about another book that um me and Jonathan kind of purchased. He bought it, but it's going to end up on my shelf. So, um, and it is called Havenfall. I can't remember who the author is, um, but I will obviously insert a picture probably over here. It's called Havenfall and Jonathan just finished it actually and absolutely loved it. Um, and honestly, I don't even know much about it. All I know is that he is asking me to read it like ASAP. He's like, you know, you have to read this book. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, but I have other things on my TBR this month, so it'll probably wait. Um, but I am interested to read it because it takes a lot for Jonathan. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but it takes like a really intriguing and interesting story to get Jonathan like invested in a book. And he was definitely invested in this. Like he was really sad when the book ended and he's like, now I have to start a new book with a new character. And I was like, yep that's part of reading so he really loved it and I am really excited to read it so that is definitely another book that we got that I am going to be reading another book that I well not me technically Jonathan bought this but once again it'll end up on my shelf but it is Scythe so this is another one that is on my top 21 books to read in 2021 so I'm really excited that he got this um, this is super, super interesting. Like, I am dying to read this. Um, but it is basically about a world with no war, no sickness, no diseases, like, nothing. Like, the population is pure. But these, this group of people, their job is to control the population, so they have to go and, like, kill people so that they don't overpopulate. So Citra and Rowan are chosen to, like, become a scythe but they don't want to be one so it's pro it, i don't know it sounds like it's going to be maybe a little bit of like rebellion or like maybe they're just going to end this job <clears throat> in general but <clears throat> excuse me but i am super super excited about it and i want to read this like 
super soon and then buy the rest of the series. And another book that I just purchased is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. So I have talked about this book on my channel as one of my most anticipated books to read in 2021. It is also a top 21 of 2021. Um, but um, I'm not really going to talk too much about this. Um, <clears throat> like I won't read the full synopsis, but this is such a good book as well. Um, so Brie actually witnesses, <clears throat> what the heck? Brie actually witnesses like this magical attack that a Marlin um, is part of. And um, she remembers that she saw one of these Merlin um, with her mom like in the hospital when her mom passed away when she was younger and so she's trying to discover the truth behind her mom's death and um so i think it's going to be really really good i also love this cover once again she's beautiful um so yeah i'm really really excited about this one because i've been wanting to read it and i almost bought it from like my book of the month book box but then the time that i went to go buy it they were sold out and i was like awesome so <laughs> I got it though and another book that I got I actually purchased a lot of graphic novels because I want to read more graphic novels but one of them that I purchased is Victor and Nora um, and this is like a DC comic so this is <clears throat> like oh what are they called anyways they have superpowers I'm pretty sure he has like firepower and she has ice almost positive <clears throat> but it is basically their love story um and i thought this would be like really fun to read on my honeymoon when that is like the theme i i am so so excited about this so this is one of the graphic novels that i'm saving for march since it'll be really hard to read eight books in march i am going to hop over to graphic novels for the month of march and another book that i just recently purchased which is also a graphic novel is witch light by jesse zabarski i don't know um, so this is really, really cute. It is basically about, it's about a character named Lalik who is a witch and another character named Sanja and that is all Sanja knows when she meets this Lalik in a marketplace. But Lalik is hiding secrets and as her life begins to interest with Sanja's, all that she's hiding starts to come to light. Um, so it sounds really, really fun. So I'm really, really excited to read this also in the month of March. Okay, so a, another book that I just recently got, and this was in one of my book subscription boxes, um, but it is called The Lost Carousel of Province. Um, I have no idea what this is about, like no idea. Um, it says an artist lost to history, a family abandoned to its secrets, and the woman who searched for meaning uncovers it all. So <clears throat> it sounds pretty interesting. I love the little lavender stems <laughs> down here. Um, but. I just got this and I've never heard of this um, so I'm kind of excited to read it at the same time I'm a little nervous because I've never heard of it so um, I guess we'll see how this goes but I do hope to get to this at some point point. <laughs> and another book that I just recently got that was in that same subscription box is The Sandman by Lars Kepler so this I have also never heard of so like I, I just want you guys to know this is a fun fact about me. I, I don't like this. I don't I don't like the uneven pages because when I'm reading it actually makes it even harder, I feel like, to flip the page because you're like, which page is it? But it says the number one internationally best-selling thriller tells the chilling story of an insidious serial killer and the two brilliant police officers who must try to beat him at his own game. So this actually does sound really interesting because I I'm like obsessed with criminal minds um i love to watch like murder mystery shows and especially the ones on serial killers like i just think it's interesting to watch their patterns and like how because they have patterns that's what gets them caught um so yeah so i'm really really interested to read this this was a thriller box so these are both thrillers um but this i'm actually really really excited for and i'm going to try to ignore the pages because this drives me absolutely insane <laughs> okay and another book that i got which is actually a graphic novel is fence volume one so i've heard great things about fence um i don't even know like much about it to be honest um so it says nicholas the 
illegitimate son of a retired fencing champion is a scrappy fencing wonder kid and dreams of getting the chance and training to actually compete. After getting accepted to the prodigious, 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 I, I don't know, um, King's Row Private School, Nicholas is thrust into a cutthroat world and finds himself facing not only his golden boy half-brother, but the unbeatable, mysterious Sejai Karayama. Yeah, so I'm really excited about this, and I'm excited to start a graphic novel that is part of a series. So this is going to be really, really interesting to read. I'm, I'm really excited. Another book, this is also a graphic novel that is part of a series, and it is Saga Volume 1. So also heard amazing things about Saga, and I was a little bit hesitant at first, and the reason was is because I don't, like, I'm really sometimes not into sci-fi. Like, it just takes some extra time for me, but I feel like I might be okay with this. I think it is a really, really cool concept. So for those that don't know, <clears throat> it is from the baby's perspective and it is basically about his two parents that are from two different planets that are actually at war. Um, so I think it's going to be really, really interesting. I'm interested to see where it goes. Um, and there's so many volumes to this that I'm like, this story has got to be like deep. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited to read this as well. And another book that I just recently purchased is Long Way Down, and this is by Jason Reynolds. So this actually, this is the graphic novel version. So it's this, they have the same story, but it's in just a novel, um, you know, just written. But this one is the graphic novel, graphic novel version. It says 60 seconds, seven floors, three rules, one gun. So I am really excited to see where this goes. To be honest, that little piece reminds me of the movie Escape Room. So yes, there is a game Escape Room, but I've also seen a movie called Escape Room on Amazon Prime. I'm pretty sure it's included, but it is so good. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's pretty thrilling and terrifying, but it is so good. Um, but that's what this kind of reminds me of, and I'm really excited to dig into this as well. Okay, so now... Moving on, I also got How the King of Elfham Learned or Elfham Learned to Hate Stories. So I just recently read The Cruel Prince and I do want to read The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing really, really soon. And then I wanted to read this afterwards, but this is very, very special, okay? Because it is a signed edition of How the King of Elfham Learned to Hate Stories. And this, I don't I don't think this is my first ever like signed copy, but this is one of the first. So yeah, also this without the dust jacket is like stunning. Like it's like this white with like silver foil. I don't know if you can see it, but it is beautiful. So very, very excited about this. And I just, I just love it. It's just so special and it looks so beautiful. So I love it. And the next two books that I'm going to be talking about are from my Book of the Month subscription box. So this is kind of like an unboxing, I guess, on top of the haul. So the first book that I got from Book of the Month is one of their January books for 2021, and it is Outlawed by Anna North. So this is basically about um, a girl named Ada, and she's 17, and it's the day of her wedding, and like gets married and she's not pregnant yet and like this is the time where like like you have kids right after you get married and so she um is also living in a town where witches are constantly being hanged and what it from what it sounds like is she's a witch as well and that's why she's like having to fight for her survival um so it's basically like a quest like to find herself and i love books like that i also didn't think it was going to be this like short but I'm honestly not opposed. Like, maybe this will be one of my March books because it's smaller. Yeah, like it's only 250 pages. So this would be like a really quick read, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. And I love the color. I just love, like, look at this, like pink and red and yellow. It's just, it's so cute. And last, but definitely not least, I got Wicked Box by Kat Cho. So this is also on my top 21 books to read in 2021 and i finally have it it took a while but i got it and this i 
am really, really exciting about. It's about an 18, this 18 year old girl, and she is essentially like half human, half fox, but her, like the fox side of her is supposed to feed off of men. Um, but then she meets this boy and obviously like she falls in love and now she's like, well, now I can't like feed off of him. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I think it's going to be really, really interesting. And I'm also excited to get the second book in this um, series. And that one is called Vicious Spirits. So I'm really excited. I also love this cover. Like the pink and the purple. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I love it. So, so, so excited about this. So, yeah. Okay, so that is all of the books that I just recently purchased and I am super excited to read them all. I wish I could literally take forever off of work and just read, but I can't do that. So that is all of the books that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.